You know what sucks? Not being able to find a fragrance that you can comfortably wear every day, that you can pick up at a decent price, that smells decent, and it even lasts a long time, and it pleases those around you. You know who sucks at per picking out this fragrance? You do. That's because oftentimes, like the old pair of pants that you might have bought that you've never worn, or the shoes that you thought were cool in the store, you never wear, there's fragrances that influencers tell you to buy, then they might be too strong or too sweet for you. They just might not work for you. In this video, I'm gonna show you some known and unknown versatile everyday fragrances that you can safely wear with an emphasis on a budget. And at the end of the video, I'll show you a few of my personal versatile everyday selections. You want to have a nice, smooth, and comfortable fragrance. One that can be offered to a friend and one that can please the masses. Is that a problem? No, I'm not sure. Do you want to make people around you sick when you wear your strong fragrances? Maybe at work, you want your fragrance to be able to be comfortable, not cause you any anxiety, and it works all day, and people won't be talking about you behind their breath because you sprayed too much of this fragrance on, even though this is a versatile fragrance. Seriously, the fragrances on this list could be like, man, dude, I've heard of every one of these fragrances. They're all boring. That's why I have some unknown fragrances that might not be considered signature because in essence, a signature fragrance is not really a signature if every other dude wears it like this Sauvage. We're going to start the video now with your Sauvage and a similar scent cheaper to this is called Prada Luna Rosa Carbon. And that is the signature scent, first one on the list. The second one on the list is going to be Prada Luna Rosa's Carbon's older father called Prada Lom. Prada Luna Rosa Carbon smells just like this, but it doesn't have the pepper. It always gets performance, it always gets compliments, and as well as this does. Both are great selections. And if you want it to smell like George Sauvage on a budget, simply find Modest Oom. Next fragrance we're gonna talk about is Christian Dior Eau de Cologne. This is a fantastic fragrance for everyday use. It's simply a citrus floral musk with petals of the orange blossom and the grapefruit blossom mixed in it to give it depth. It's got that incredible sexy inter, the scent that's in the middle is so nice. And if you want it to smell like this on a budget, Simply find Jimmy Choo Man Ice, which goes in this direction, has a lot of Ambroxan, but virtually is 50-60% less in price than this one. Then if you still like these citrus organic herbal style fragrances, you might like this one, Terry de Hermes. Now, the first few I just mentioned on the list are perfect for ages, all ages. This one here, Terry de Hermes, is more for a mature, grown, elegant, Gentlemen, and this smells like green grasses alongside a nice orange and mandarin note. It's got that lovely sweet orange note in it, but it's got the backings of the greenness all around it. And another similar scent cheaper to this, find Frank Olivier's Black Touch to smell like this on a budget. Next, you can think about Creed Green Irish, but that's not budget conscious. A fragrance that is very budget conscious is called Cool Water. Cool water can be used for every day. It's a known versatile signature scent. And another tip about cool water is they make these things called deodorants and they're like $10 and they last three to four hours and it's exactly the same smell as cool water. If you wanted to do cool water on a budget, you get cool water mild deodorant. It's a spray, you can find them anywhere. And if you want it to smell like Creed Green Irish on a budget, it's very much synthetic. That means it's chemically, but it does smell good to the average nose, and people around you will like you. Find RMF Trey Nui. Next up, we have the ever so famous, my favorite fragrance, my signature scent, Creed Aventus. And this thing is very much big money, and this is my favorite part of the video where I get to try to empty it, because I love Creed Aventus. I could spray that for another five minutes if I wanted to. This fragrance is basically pineapple and birkwood alongside some jasmines and it's just delicious. This fragrance is a similar scent to it, much more affordable, called Mont Blanc Explorer. Both of these are great signature scents. And here's a special bonus I found. This is called London Oud Silver. This is a niche fragrance from Dubai. London Oud is a London brand, I suppose, but the fragrance just came out 
and it's a very thick rendition to Creed Aventus. It's smoky and it's got super depth and right when you spray it you're gonna go wow and you can smell the saffrons and the spices in it. It's like a different interpretation but definitely is a Creed Aventus clone 100%. The next fragrance is awesome. One of my favorite fragrances also to wear. Alirom Sport and I love this because it has a little sling of sweetness underneath probably coming from the vanilla. Alongside this, if you were trying to find a similar scent cheaper to a Lure Ohm Sports, you will try to find Versace Pour Ohm Signature. This is quite expensive. Versace Pour Ohm Signature is very well liked. It's a known, versatile, everyday signature fragrance. Next on the list, one of the best ones that's chosen by lots of viewers is called Aqua Di Gio Profumo. And coming up, the two best ones chosen, because I asked them on our community page right here, and they picked these coming up next two ones. This is called Aqua Di Gio Profumo. When you have this sitting on your dresser, you probably can't resist to smell it. There's lots of opinions. Is this for young or old people? I'd say right down the middle, 25 and up, you can wear it. You will learn to like it. It's like Aqua Di Gio, the one that your dad wore or your granddad, and it's got some incense in it. It makes it more powerful, more unique. And my friend wore this to a bar and girls were coming up to him asking him if they could buy him a drink. That's what this fragrance does. It's an impeccable compliment getter. And I know people don't want to care about that anymore, but this thing gets you noticed, hands down. And if you wanted something similar sent cheaper to this, all I could find is the one that's in the same vein, and that's called Nautica Life. It has 60% similar notes to this. What can you do? It's not the same clone, it just has similar notes to this. Number highest, rating for a signature scent versace dylan blue even the 2020s they last four to six hours what does that mean two movies and a dinner okay is that bad for you now if you say 30 minutes i don't believe you because on my skin i'm getting three hours off three sprays four to five hours when i spray heavy two movies and a dinner versace dylan blue 2020 yes 2017 2016 2018 much better formulations but we're not talking about the formulations of a versace dylan blue i just want to let you know this is the number one two rated versatile signature fragrance the number one versatile signature fragrance is called bleu de chanel this is amazing it's liked by everyone it's pleasing it, i never heard anyone say you stink when you wear this the only one time they have it, this is the Eau de Parfum, and I wore this on a plane and I had a slight bit of anxiety in the Eau de Toilette. In a plane, like in a closed quarter, you might not wear it because if you spray it too much, it could be too overpowering, bursting that scent over. Some people don't just want to smell you, even if you do smell amazing. It doesn't mean everyone likes it, but for the most part, 95% of the people will enjoy you and you will enjoy yourself wearing Bleu de Chanel and the closest thing I could find to that is called Missoni Eau de Parfum and that's a similar scent cheaper to that. I want to show you one for women now and then we're going to show you some unknown fragrances that are my favorite signature scents. Delina would be an excellent selection for everyday wear. It's a beautiful floral fragrance that's very very expensive but it does last very long. It's got that caramel vanilla under, underneath that just sets it off. It's very elegant. And I found a fragrance, a similar scent, cheaper to this. It's called London Oud. It's a peach colored box XI or IX. I'll put this picture right here. Check it out. And if you're a female, please welcome and say hello down in the comments. Just want to show you two more and we'll get on with my personal selections. This is for the older school female for everyday signature scent. It's called Ralph Blue excellent easy to wear aquatic floral for women it's been around for decades and it's a great fragrance absolutely beautiful for females and then this when i was at the airport duty free shop i picked up jean paul gautier la belle and this is an excellent fragrance look at that bottle for everyday wear it's a little bit heavier floral but it lasts all day great fragrance one of my favorite fragrances to wear every day. It's got peach, cinnamon, and tobacco in it, and vanilla. It lasts 10 hours. It's a huge Centro Parfums de Marley Herod. The next fragrance I like to wear also has some citrus in it, but it focuses on an almond note. Guerlain Le Homme Ideal sets you apart. This is one of those fragrances that can be your signature scent if you're bold enough to try it. This is not like everybody else's smell. This is 
different and lovely and leathery. The next fragrance I was thinking about oud fragrances. Oud is a spicy resin that comes out of trees and oud is a, a woody fragrance and one of them is called Initio Oud for Greatness, $350 or I found this one Afnan in Oud. It lasts 8 to 12 hours. Exact same note breakdown as that Initio and a fraction of the price. Another fragrance that I like is called Dior Sauvage. For everyday signature use, one or two shots of this. It's the Eau de Parfum because it sits closer to your skin. Sauvage, Eau de Parfum sits closer to your skin than Eau de Toilette Sauvage. Again, a similar scent cheaper to the Sauvage line. It's called Modest Un, specifically for the Eau de Toilette, and that thing lasts a long time. The other day, my friend was riding his bicycle, sweating, and I could smell his fragrance. I go, what are you wearing, man? This is like 81 degrees outside, and you're riding a bike, and it seems like you're wearing a winter fragrance, and he was. He was wearing Spice Bomb regular Eau de Toilette. Now, this fragrance I wore at one time at 7 a.m., 10 sprays, and I lasted me all throughout the day till 5 p.m., when I went to a dinner and the beautiful hostess answered the door, I'll never forget that day. And she just immediately said, oh my God, you smell so good and hugged me and everything. And it was the best hug. And I had a wonderful evening that day wearing Spice Bomb. She would consider that doesn't smell like everyone else. It's a little bit strong at first. It's called Prada Amber, specifically the intense version. It's lavender and citruses and you smell clean and it's very soapy and it lasts about six or seven hours depends how much you spray of course any of these fragrances you spray on your clothes you're going to get longevity here's a fragrance that people absolutely adore it's called mansera cedra boise cedra it means it's a, some sort of a citrus and boise means wood so you're thinking about a citrus wood with a touch of vanilla in it lasts all day smells amazing and gets incredible reaction this is an unknown versatile everyday signature scent that you can pick up i highly recommend this here's one that no one really talks about it's called yves saint laurent eau de parfum they do talk about it but i never saw it on an everyday versatile list i feel like this green apple note with all the other spices mixed in that lasts eight hours and every time you spray it yourself you smile because it smells so good why not it smells so good with that apple note coming out of it yves saint laurent why this is called replica jazz club you have tobacco leather resins vanilla sexy i wore seven sprays of this to a trendy night spot where like everyone's restaurants and bars and i was walking around must have got four inquiries what are you wearing even the the male friends I was with going, oh my God, what are you wearing? I, what, can I spray some? I go, well, it's back at home. How am I gonna let you spray it? This thing lasted seven hours on my skin, seven sprays, and gets incredible reactions from whoever you might wanna be attracting. If you have any experience with any of these video fragrances, please do comment down below. Peace and love, and say hello to my nieces and nephews. Uncle Chris is out.